made it. Finally, on the train to go home. I got pear and chocolate and it's so good. Oh my god. Outside of these buildings are Incredible. just like beautiful, yeah, and it's so funny because they're like so. There's there's stores that are in the U.S., but just seeing them in these buildings that are very French architect um, inspired. Like yeah, it's so funny. We got stuff for like the cold and stuff, so I'm very happy with my purchases. I think I'll be using them a lot. So uh, we're gonna go. Yes. We didn't pass here. Oh. Hola, mi bella gente. ¿Cómo están? So today is Monday, and I look and feel like complete crap. <laughs> Basically, I've just I've been spending like my whole time here and locked in the room because I don't want to contaminate the house, and. <clears throat> I feel like <laughs> when I put this up, people are going to be like, I feel so sorry for her. <laughs> but it honestly is just, uh, I hate having a cough. And that's just what it is. It's just a cough. I thought it was going to become like a cold because I did wake up before we left her France. I woke up with like a fever and I was shivering. I had the chills. I was sweating. It was pretty nasty. But now it's just the cough. But even then, I still feel pretty crap crappy. Greta right now, she went to go training, to training? I can't even talk. She went to go to training for um, 
what's it called her program so she is doing the top of program here in france and it's so exciting i'm so happy for her and i'm so proud of her like just to see my sister you know be able to do something like this go to a country by herself for eight months i mean i'm here for the first month but i'm leaving after that and be able to speak the language and live among the french as if she were a french person herself i mean that's so admirable and i know she's gonna grow so much from this experience so yeah if you're watching this greta I'm, i love you i'm so proud of you and i'm happy to be your sister <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna go get ready soon it's about lunchtime. it's like 1 30 right now and i've been sleeping pretty much the whole day <clears throat> and i want to continue sleeping but i know that i probably should not do that um so yeah i might do that i'm starving but you know when you like just feel so bad you just want to lay in bed and you're like whatever I'll just starve to death <laughs> that's kind of like the mindset i have right now but i should really eat so i'm gonna go downstairs and also just a huge shout out to our host family they are amazing like we could not have been blessed more blessed to be living here with them they are so sweet they literally make meals for us and they invite us well they don't make the meals for us but when they cook they invite us to go eat with them and it's never like a question of oh am i allowed to eat with you guys today do i have to make my own food they literally are like no of course and when we're hungry they're like go go through the fridge as if this is your own house you're welcome to eat whatever you want so they are so kind um and they've been super helpful like the host mom she really is so like you can tell she really cares about us and she's always like yeah so to get from point a to point b on the metro you take these um trains you get off at this stop this is how you come back um so yeah she really looks out for us it's really sweet um but yeah it's awesome. I'm really grateful. And I'm so glad that Greta was <coughs> able to uh, get into this um, host house or that we were able to even find out about them. But yeah, it's awesome. So if you ever do travel abroad, definitely try staying with the host family. Um, I know sometimes you have to do things in return um, for our host family we don't have to but we you know make an effort to help clean up um whenever we eat or just offer our services in any way that we could be of a benefit to them yeah um but i mean living with a host family is so much better than living by yourself because you have people here and at least for me that's what i think i think it's a lot more fun you know when the house is full um such a struggle to get here it was crazy because we don't have wi-fi so we called an uber and then when we were we were at a restaurant when we called the uber and when we left the restaurant it got canceled because we didn't have the wi-fi anymore and it was crazy but finally we got the uber he came he was super nice and then we arrived at our airbnb and it's really cozy it's super tiny the flats here are so small because there's not a lot of space but yeah we're just gonna chill out 
and then go explore and then go to our event. I'm so excited. I can't believe we made it to London. So we have left the house. I literally look crazy because I literally lost one earring, which is great. But it kind of looks cool because I have the star and then I have the moon. But um, we left the Airbnb and we're heading to Oxford Circus to do some shopping. Um, wow, vlogging in London is so awkward. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know how London vloggers do it because there's so many people just staring at you. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. Just gotta but you just gotta do it. Um, but yeah, so we're heading over to Oxford Circus and we're relying on Claudia's downloaded GPS because we don't know where we're going and we don't have freaking, um, that is red. Oh, now it's green. Um, we don't have Wi-Fi or like internet or data or anything, so that's great. But um, yeah, we're relying on downloaded GPS, which I didn't know you could even do, so if you're lost and stranded, check it out. But yeah, so we're gonna go. Yeah, Google Maps. So we're gonna go do some shopping, spend some money, and then we're gonna eat and then go to the event. So I'm so excited. Yay, we got Chipotle. I did not know. I didn't know that they had Chipotle in Europe. But I'm really proud. <laughs> I know, it looks so good. Yay. What did you get? What is that? Sparkling water. Hmm, cool. I got a Sprite. So we are getting ready to see Stella. I feel like half the people I've told are like, I don't care. Who did? <laughs> or like, why would you spend so much money? <laughs> but I don't care because this is my life. So I am, oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. So I'm gonna wear this. So I'm obsessed with this lip chapstick <laughs> lip <laughs> chapstick it's like a it's like i don't know what it is it's a moisturizing lip balm that has tint in it and it's from bath and body works and i bought two of them i bought iris and then i bought peony but this one makes your lips look <laughs> you said panties <laughs> panties um this one looks kind of like you just ate cherries also my hair is a mess but you know but yeah, I love it. I'm still missing one earring, but I'm pretending it's, it's like, you know those earrings that you wear one, one is long and the other one is just a stud. I don't know, but yeah, I look kind of crazy because we've been walking all day, but I mean, I don't really care. But yeah, so I'm so excited. I've been waiting to see this woman for so long and I can't believe that I'm finally gonna see her. I'm so excited. Ooh, and we're all wearing our new stuff that we bought from H&M. I'm wearing my skirt. It's a really long A-line skirt. And Claudia is wearing her new sweater where she looks like a bat. Oh my God. <laughs> the sleeves are huge. Oh my God. It makes your head look tiny. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it really big on me? No, just when you spread out like that. Oh my god, it makes your head look like a little... I'm already having a small head, so... <laughs> and I'm gonna bring my little uh, fanny pack that I've actually been obsessed with. This has been so useful in the city. Oh my god, if you are going to a big city or something of that nature, you need to buy one of these. I got this from Nasty Gal, and it's absolutely beaut. I love it, and it's so cute. It's like a belt one. You can kind of wear it over your shoulder as well if you wanted to. Crossbody, but I love it. It fits everything that I need and it's so cute. So we're off to see her. Oh my God. So I wanted to show you guys the book that we got from Zoe's event. It was so much fun. And the book that she put together is so good. It's called Cordially, Cordially Invited. Cordially. Cordially cordially invited 
so this is the front cover so cute it has kind of like holographic i don't know if you can see oh yeah there we go it's so pretty she did a great job and it's signed by her which is really cool so there it is zoe so cute i think she did such a great job her and her team they did an amazing job of putting this book together i love all the photography it's so beautiful and i feel every time i open this book i feel so festive so i'm very excited to have this because i really like events and i feel like this would be a book that would be really helpful there's another one called i think like celebrate everything um but this one's like kind of special because greta has been watching zoella for so long <laughs> so it has like a deep meaning but yeah it's so cute and it's divided by the seasons so it'll go from let's see what is the the things say okay so spring summer autumn and winter so it's really nice it's so well put together and I know she worked so hard on this, so it's really exciting to see it, like, in full bloom come to fruition. Buenos dias, guys. Um, oh, my God, my voice. Uh, so we are going to go eat some breakfast because we're starving. So I'm really digging my outfit today, except my hair is a little insane because I don't have a hairbrush with me. So that's lovely, but you know, it's okay. Just gotta embrace the curls. But I am wearing this top that I got from Zara. I think it's so me. It's so cute. It just has like yellow um, statement patterns on it. So yellow sleeve and then like yellow little stripes on the other sleeve. And it's a turtleneck, which I feel like turtlenecks are so chic and I freaking love them and then i'm wearing my uh fanny pack but i'm actually wearing it cross body today because i think that it just looks i don't know it's kind of cute and um yeah and then i'm wearing my jeans that are my favorite jeans at the moment and these are just black denim and they're amazing they're like the perfect blue jean color and i think they're super cute and then my shoes are Steve Madden, the ones that I've been wearing literally like every day since I got them. And they're amazing. They're so comfortable. And they give me a little bit of hype because I'm a shorty. So I love it. And my earrings, if you're wondering, they're from Shein. Um, this is the first thing I've ever ordered from Shein. And I'm actually pleasantly impressed by the quality because these were actually two bucks. These earrings were two dollars from Shein. It was so cheap. But I just wanted to talk about the event yesterday. It was so much fun. It was so nice to see her in person. She's like so much fun. I love her and I've been watching her since I was like a freshman in college, which is actually insane. But it was just so cool to see her in person and just to hear her talk about her book. And um, it was cool because I watched her vlogs of her like creating the book that she created. It's called um, Cordially Invited and it's just a book about event planning and she loves hosting so she gives her tips and tricks when it comes to that kind of stuff and I thought it was so cool. So um, it was cool to see her vlogs about the um, about the creation of the book and then just see her talk about it. it was really awesome and her boyfriend Alfie was there Mark was there all of her friends or no well, they were there and then her like her some of her team was there and that was really cool and yeah yes and I'm so glad I got to see her and I think it was worth it mm -hmm. 